taasisi ya marafiki ya kiufundi ya Kaimosi yani Friends College Kaimosi inapatikana katika jumuiya ya misheni ya Kaimosi kaunti ya Vihiga humu nchini Jumuiya nzima inapatikana katika barabara kuu ya Kisumu cha Bakali Kapsabet ukielekea mji mkuu wa Eldoret kwenye ekari zaidi ya 40. We have uh, put cabros all over the compound now. We're just finishing uh, cabros. It's almost covered. The ring road the, the ring road is complete and we want to finish up to the last to up to the workshops that are there. We have again equipped uh, So quite a number of our workshops that are there. We are also receiving equipment next month in March uh, from Canada, uh, equipment in food technology. They are giving us equipment. We have already prepared the room and we are ready to receive uh, the equipment that is there. The administration of our exams has really improved, is that we are doing it almost like NEC exams for the entire internal exams. We pack them, we have uh, made sure that uh, there is no leakage, and they are actually conducted. Ni taasisi iliyotia fora zaidi tangia miaka ya kenda mia sabini na moja ili kuimarisha elimi ya kiufundi ya kuwezesha wakazi wa eno hili ya kaunti nzima ya vihiga na taifa hili kwa ujumla kupiga hatua maishani na kujiusisha pakubwa katika elimi ya kiufundi chini ya kanisa la marafiki ya ni Friends Church marufu kama Friends Church ile kujinufaisha katika siku zao za baadaye initially parents believe that their children must go to university but that's not it now the, the way the, 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 the world is now is about skill skill is us who teach skills in tibet and things have really changed in the last 3 4 years we have seen even people who are who are meant to have gone to university coming to our institutions because they know that it's the skills that pay nowadays. Skills are the ones that will put food on your table. Taasisi ya marafiki ya kiufundi ya Kaimosi ni taasisi iliyoanzishwa na wamishionari kutoka Ulaya ambao waliona si vema wakazi wa eneo hili kukaa kitako pasi na kujihusisha na mambo ya elimu ndiposa wakaona ni bora zaidi kuanzisha taasisi hii ya marafiki ya kiufundi ya Kaimosi and V which is the law part is equal to R indeed this department was uh, started in the year 2014 2014 we had a, a student population of 3 but currently we are proud to say that actually the mean the number of trainees has risen to a great height to over 320 trainees in terms of trainers we started with the one train, trainer being i being the one currently you have got a trainer population of 14 with one technician we are proud having produced a number of graduates a number of trainees who have graduated from this department goes up to over 100 right from the year 2016 up to now i'm in a winner uh, taking diploma 3 electrical engineering and uh, uh, actually these ones are my classmates uh, I'm in year 3 here is FCK where uh, most of the uh, institutions uh, recognize the FCK as the best champion academically actually uh, recently i think uh, if you uh, can notice uh, we emerged to be the top the best top four academically for which we feel comfortable being in FCK because uh, of academic performance
building and civil engineering. Tutaka tulete diploma in land surveying, diploma in architecture, na ikiwezekana pia diploma in water engineering. Hizo ni mpangilio tukona kwa sababu tunataka tupanuke zaidi. Uh, hii department nilipokuja mwaka wa 1000 2019 mwezi wa kumi nilipata kama kuna wanafunzi chini ya 150 na wakati hiyo walikuwa na course ambayo ilikuwa ni diploma ambayo ilikuwa ni moja that is diploma in building technology na certificate in plumbing na certificate in building technology kulikuwa na course kama ine lakini baada hapo tumejikaza sasa hivi tuko na zaidi hizo course ambazo nimewatajia uh, kutoka kwa wanafunzi 150 sasa hivi tumefika wanafunzi zaidi ya 100 that meant started in 2014 uh, with the six students that was uh, the intake of September and uh, two trainers uh, from there we've worked hard as a department at that time it was a combined engineering but right now we've separated the building and automotive engineering um, right now we have a population of 511 uh, the courses that we are offering is diploma in electrical and electronics engineering certificate in electrical and electronics technology at sun in uh, electrical installation both are examined by NEC. we are also offering uh, electrical wireman which is examined by nita and we are also offering solar pv uh, what i would just uh, like to tell students and parents outside that uh, right now our department is our government is focusing on STEM that is science, technology, engineering so parents should just encourage the students or their kids to take these STEM courses because that is where we are going When I, when I came, we had a population of about 2,900 students. Now we are slightly over 5,000 uh, students uh, as per last month, close of last month. Uh, we have invested heavily in terms of uh, our core mandate, core business, and we really have achieved a lot. In the last rating, we were number one. Uh, in core mandate in the whole country, inclusive of the national polytechnics, and in overall position we are number four uh, throughout the country in tertiary institutions. Uh, we are really moving ahead um, with many things in terms of uh, making sure that we achieve our core mandate. In terms of even uh, core curricula, we are doing very well. Uh, the latest one being the one when we were two weeks ago, we were in um, Mumias complex and we were uh, number one again with 20 gold medals. Um, the next one had 10 gold medals. So both in academic and non-academic issues, we have really excelled in those areas. Sauti tamu zandege wa angani. From the time I took office as the head of the department from 2019, the enrollment was very down, I was very low. Then, but because of the hard work with the team in my department, that is the trainers, we have managed to go past 250. Um, initially, we start, we were around below 100, but as for now, we have gone to over 250 and the factors that have contributed to this is the good performance that we have posted in our net examinations 
For instance, last year, July examinations, we presented around 144 candidates, and out of those uh, 144, we managed 78 who are able to get pass and credits. Again, if you look at this, you can come realize that uh, there is balance of charges. So these times, this uh, because of the discipline, because we know that without discipline, we cannot achieve anything. So right now, as we talk, our students are very disciplined. Our students are very hardworking. Uh, and we have a very competent technician which has boosted our results because students apart from doing theory they also do practicals and that is the key in science you have to do practicals you know, it's not only theory so that has boosted our results and we are even hoping as we are going to present even candidates in July and even in this March examination which is coming in a few weeks we are going to do even much better Recently, as head of department, I was taken out because of the positive uh, improvement in results. The principal, uh, our principal, Mr. Michael Musuya, was able to take us, take us out, take the HOD out as a motivation. Shida ambayo mimi hupata na wanafunzi ni kutokuelewana. Sasa wao huandika na mimi huwaelewa. Wanafunzi wanapoongezeka sa zingine machine huwa chache. Na mimi huweza kuwagawanya ili wakaeze kufanya kazi kiasi wote. Mimi pia huwasaidia kazi ya kufunga uzi kwa bomi. Mimi napenda kufanya kazi na mkubwa wangu na walimu wenzangu kwa kuwa wao ni wakubwa na mimi niko chini yao na wapenda na ninafurahia mkubwa wangu ambaye ni principal pia ako sawa anasema atatuongezea machine ziwe nyingi zaidi zaidi I joined, I joined here in 2017, and I think I'm, I'm six years old. I had only uh, 20 trainees when I joined, and two sewing machines, which are, are manual. I tried my best to get more machines, uh, plus more students. Right now we have around 26 sewing machines. Uh, eight embroidered machines, the rest are uh, manual. We also have one manual overlock machine. Uh, right now we have around, from 20 trainees, we have more than 500 trainees. We have a lot of work. And in fact, we are planning to get another uh, workshop for practicals. Uh, apart from uh, training, academically, we have other skills. We have tandai, we have printing, uh, we, have, we normally teach birds. During Corona times we stitched uh, masks and we go to market. Uh, we, we also teach uh, college corporate shirts, dust coats, 
we make uniforms for the food and beverage department. We also do decoration, especially when we have visitors and functions. Our, our principal doesn't source people from outside. So, Najibunia. Najibunia na college yangu, and I think, na my, I, okay, Najibunia na department yangu. And I think uh, uh, fashion design in me, I think it is inborn. Ni passion too. Okay. Without forgetting our principals, he has tried to help us. In fact, he has promised to bring uh, industrial machines as soon as possible, around five of them. And I think he can do more than that. We offer hairdressing and beauty therapy. In our department, we have boys and girls. Uh, we have four, like 400 students. Like right now, we're going to, for the next exam, we have like 22 students who are going to do exam. And we have others that are in attachment. Very soon they're coming back. So we offer uh, weaving, braiding, chemical relaxing in hair dressing, and so many other and so many other practical. In beauty, we have makeup, massage. We are massage beds. We do massage. We have three, uh, four massage beds. We are a massage bed. We do massage. We have different types of massage. We have British, we have Swedish, we have Indian head massage, and also we have hot stone massage. So in this bed, this advanced massage bed, you can make it flat or you can raise it the way clients want. And here, these are space for breathing. When your client turn back, she can breathe from here. What I can tell the parent, in cosmetology, in MCK you are the best because we lead others follow, our, our students pass very well. And also, in hairdressing, if a student can do hairdressing, she or he doesn't need that capital, she can do anywhere. You can just sit under the tree and do your practical and you are done and you get money. I was appointed the head of department in uh, late October 2019 and uh, since 2019 we have seen an increase in enrollment from 143 to currently 400 trainees in the department. We have so far had achievements of having 120 new computers in the department for training in the department. We have also acquired extra ICT equipment to support uh, staff in other departments who are doing their training such as the projectors, the laptops, the printers in other departments. We have also had an increase in the capacity mega Mbps for the internet. Currently we have a last mile fiber connectivity of 100 Mbps for the internet which Previously, we did not have that internet capacity, so our trainees can be able to do research in so many areas using the available internet. As ICT department, we offer training in different courses, that is Diploma in Information Communication Technology and Certificate in Information Communication Technology, which is, which is being examined by NEC. We also offer the same Diploma in Information Communication Technology and Certificate in Information Communication Technology which is being examined by CASNEB 
we are in the process of applying the courses offered by NITA, that is computer operator and graphic design. We are also offering CBET courses, that is for level 6 and level 5, that is ICT technician 6 and ICT technician 5. Other than that, we offer some other small computer courses such as graphic designs. We also offer computer repair and maintenance and we offer computer packages, which all of them are affordable at affordable rates. And we offer support to trainees in various ways, that is research, uh, performing their research using their ICT equipment, accessing their student portal and so on. I am in a lab that hosts 100 computers. In French College Kaimosi, all students do ICT as a unit other than doing ICT as a course. So we have enough facilities for trainees who want to join the Tibet institution to be able to be equipped with skills and knowledge ready for the labor market. So I welcome all trainees who are interested in having something to do and earning something in their lives. We have enough facilities that can be able to accommodate them to do their practical work. we produce and serve the food, the ready food. Then for the accommodation, we have the rooms, which uh, we use them for training our trainees. The section of rooms, we have beds, uh, and, and we have the rooms for the trainees. Like in our rooms, we usually have uh, visitors from outside. We accommodate them. And we can say, as time goes by, as we enlarge our department, Soon we are going to be having a production unit within the Department of Accommodation when we have several activities in the college like uh, drama festival. Recently we had drama festival. We had to uh, accommodate our visitors, other principals from, from, from other institutions. We started with the certificate in catering and accommodation. We have module one and two. We have diploma, that is become diploma in catering and accommodation, module one, two, and three. So far, at least we have had the students reaching to module three, that is become module three. And so far, at least we can cater for at least 13 guests per day or per night. We offer break, uh, bed and breakfast to our guests. Uh, my name is uh, Patrick Anzaya, uh, taking uh, catering and accommodation, that is diploma. I am a third year student and uh, the reason I took this course is that uh, I personally, I like uh, interacting with the different uh, uh, people in, uh, in our country. As far as uh, tourism is concerned in this world, 
and uh, I I just uh, consult myself that I feel uh, I will benefit much more in uh, hospitality, and uh, I think we are the we are the, the uh, among the schools that have got few uh, men taking uh, uh, catering and accommodation, and uh, therefore just want to encourage my fellow students or other people outside there that hospitality is the main cause that can help you go far in this country. Mimea mbalimbali mbali kama vile mboga za kienyeji zilizo pandwa kwa njia aina yake upepo mzuri unaovuma kutoka mashariki hadi magharibi matunda matamu ya aina yake mizinga ya ufugaji wa nyuki ambao kwa mara nyingi hutoa asali tamu inayosafirishwa hadi mataifa ya kigeni this one you can see in the houses referred to as the house happier then deep in the forest you can see some hanging hives that is an open happier yeah they are both for the purposes of learning we can't uh, go near is uh, already midday the sun is too hot and you don't have the required PPs, therefore you cannot approach near behind where we are. But generally as a department you have this one. This one was funded by GIZN, that is a, her partner from Germany, and the other one is the initiative of the institution. Mutwiri ni mwalimu anayesimamia kitengo cha ukulima na ufugaji wa taasisi hii ya marafiki ya kiufundi ya Kaimosi. In terms of uh, staff, we have also uh, enhance their uh, salaries, we have harmonized their salaries for our teaching staff. We have um, added them something and some, some who are far below, we have made sure that they, they get something uh, like everybody else. So we have taken care of all the students, we have taken care of their teaching staff, we have taken care of teaching staff. Teaching staff is done by, of course, by the government and they, 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 they were promoted, most of them were promoted. Uh, last week, uh, as it was uh, stated in the newspapers by our CS, Honorable uh, Machogo. Do some road work to build some pavement in this institution so that. From 2020 to current, we have uh, grown as a department. Uh, currently, as we stand, we have a population of. Uh, around 220 students from 22 students and uh, initially we handed two courses that was general agriculture certificate and general agriculture and diploma but currently we have also introduced another two courses we have introduced the uh, agricultural extension that is a CBET course also we have introduced a uh, artisan in general agriculture to take care of those people that who didn't qualify to join uh, for certificates those who didn't qualify to join for diploma courses. As a, as a department, we are so grateful to our principal for good support that he has accorded us as a department. We are also grateful to our partners and our parents who has trusted us as a department and they have released their students to come and do a course in agriculture. Currently, as we stand, agriculture is the most relevant course. This is because food security is an issue not only to the developing country but also to the developed countries. As we stand currently, our government is a, has some issues with providing food to its population. And this is why we are urging our parents to take serious agriculture, release their student or advise their student to get in this department and do agriculture so that we can build the economy together. There are many opportunities from production up to the processing. That is from production to variation that the student the, after they leave this, this place they can get employment. Also, we have non-governmental organization that can employ them. Muturi vilevile anasema kuwa mbali na ukuzaji wa mimea wanashughulika pia pakubwa na ufugaji wa mifugo mbalimbali mbali kama vile ngombe wazuri wa maziwa kukwa kenyeji na wale wa gredi chombo kizuri na safi cha kuzalisha mayai jambo ambalo limefanya tasi kuimarika pakubwa and this is our hatchery we started hatching our this year's first batch from yesterday as you can see those are some of the shells 
We have not yet grown in the hatching. These are some of the eggs that uh, are not yet hatched. As you can hear, there are some chicks that we are yet to remove. There are some eggs also in the incubator. This is what we refer to as the hatching crates. Ndani ya taasisi hii kuna madarasa tofauti za kiufundi ya aina yake yanayofunzwa kwa njia ya ustadi ukiwa mwanafunzi wa kiwango cha ustawi hadi kiwango cha ustashahada taasisi hii ina mafunzo mbalimbali mbali kama vile agricultural and environmental studies yani diploma in general agriculture applied science building and civil engineering department business studies electrical and electronics engineering health science has additional minimum entry requirements, hospitality and institutional management. Katika tasisi hii, vile vile ina michezo mbali mbali kama vile sani na sana, ambayo kwa kiwango imafikisha katika nyanja ya juu, huku ikiwa tasisi hii imewajiri wafanyikazi zaidi ya miambili, jambo ambalo mwalimu mkuwa tasisi hii Michael Musuya hakukosa kujivunia. In terms of uh, staff, we have also uh, enhanced their uh, salaries, we have harmonized their salaries for our teaching staff, we have um, added them something and some, some who are far below, we have made sure that they get something uh, like everybody else. So we have taken care of all the students, we have taken care of their teaching staff, we have taken care of teaching staff. Teaching staff is done by, of course, by the government and they, 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 they were promoted, most of them were promoted uh, last week uh, as it was uh, stated in the newspapers by our CS, uh, Jebom Maichogo. Wakili ya mkazo sola hilo wa alimu wa sima mizi wa mesema kuwa wana kile sababu ya kutaba samu baada ya tasisiyo kufanya vizuri mno kutokana na wekezaji mzuri vifavya masomo Vinavyo itajika ili kupiga jeki elimu katika tasisi hii. We have again equipped uh, so quite a number of our workshops that are there. We are also receiving equipment next month in March uh, from Canada, uh, equipment in food technology. They are giving us equipment. We have already prepared the room and we are ready to receive uh, the equipment that is there. Kutokana na umiliki mzuri wa baadhi ya viongozi walioshikilia taasisi hii akiwemo mwalimu mkuu wa taasisi hii Michael Musuya akizungumza nasi hakusita kutoa ushauri kwa wale wote ambao wangependa kujiunga na taasisi hii kwa mafunzo zaidi Na hii ndio taasisi ya marafiki ya kiufundi ya Kaimosi